Well, hello everyone, Gameplay Vids 24 7 here. Welcome back to my Clicker Heroes Route 2 series for the PC. Look, everyone, we are on Madzi right now. Madzi is currently 507,000 levels deep, so pretty much she's our main hero as we speak. I do hope that you all do enjoy today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Uh, please remember to leave your feedback, uh, it all really does help me out, alright? So, either way, let's continue on here. Just going to quickly make sure all Gilded statuses are within Madzi. Yes, they are by the looks of it. Beautiful stuff. So, we have the order clicker on Madzi straight away, which is good. Um, just got to really make sure now, can we actually time lapse or not, everyone? That's the question. The first thing I want to see straight off the bat, since we are at level 3.6 million right now, are time lapses even worth it at this point? Can we push... 108k. I've just saved my game for testing purposes. Okay, here we go. I don't know how far we're going to go. No, 38,000. Wow. Only one time lapse worth it there, guys. <laughs> so, very good thing that we saved our game there. That's my advice to everyone out there as well. Make sure you save your game before you do any major changes within Click Your Heroes, whether that be transcending, ascending, time lapsing, buying, maybe. Uh, you know, Gilded Statuses or whatever else you want to buy. I wouldn't recommend you ever buy Gilded Statuses, by the way. Uh, that's These features here, random relics and random Gilded Statuses should just pretty much be removed from the game, in my opinion. There's no need to really have them at all. I don't think I've ever used them since, I don't know, two years ago, at least. And maybe when I started Clicker Heroes and I didn't know better, and I actually spent real-life money on them. Do you know what I mean, guys? Like, I, I don't find, like, it's a... A worthy investment, if that makes sense. So, that's my advice to you all out there anyway. Um, now, I'm just going to continue pretty much to... I guess... Should we try and quick ascend at this point or not? I mean, I'm not too sure. Do, do we quick ascend, everyone? We're kind of, like, deep now at this point in our run. 3.6 million is quite, like, you know, thoroughly in the run. So, I don't know if I really want to ascend and just try and spend you know the 100 rubies on a 168 hour time lapse perhaps i'll just quick ascend get it over and done with spend the the souls in the calculator obviously and we'll see where we go from there okay so let's kick it off now shall we here we go i'm just going to do a quick ascension right now that is done i'm going to save the game all right just going to load up my calculator real quick you just bear with me one second everyone Loading it up right now. Alrighty, it's up. Oh, man. So, we've really made some solid progression within Route 2. The thing is now, I mean, really, we have a couple of new games that I cannot wait to get started. Uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6 and, of course, Clicker Heroes 2. They are on my radar, everyone. Be sure to stay tuned, obviously. Uh, you know, I will be posting these games as soon as they are released. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to miss out of them. Of course, you know, there's no point. I mean, I really love the look of these games. And of course, you know, I'm a big fan of Clicker Heroes, obviously. Uh, but yeah, Bloom's Tower Defense 6 is a game I really want to get into as well. I am playing the new Jurassic Park game as we speak. It's a very fun game so far. Um, hopefully you guys have the time to check it out. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, let's try and time lapse for... Hmm. Should we try and go for 108k or should we go for a little bit further? Might as well go for the full 60 rubies here, everyone. A 48-hour time lapse. Let's see what we can pull off today. Here we go. 173k. So almost at 4 million now, thanks to that time lapse. I did actually lose Edward, my demigod, which is not good at all. So let me just quickly go back here. Let's hire a new mercenary. Let's try and pick up these rubies. Beautiful. They're looking pretty good. Just collecting everything that I possibly can now at this point. Do we hire a new mercenary? No, we'll send this guy here on the mercenary quest. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. So now we've done that. We've got Madzi up as well. So close to Zarya, man. I really want to unlock Zarya. Well, I wouldn't really actually call it so close, technically. If you have a look at the price points here. 500. No, this is E. 5 million compared to what I have now is E488 million. So, you know, we're getting pretty we're getting pretty close. Oh, I should I'll take it back. We're getting pretty close to Zarya, okay? Uh we're also getting 
Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We are now earning Ancient Souls yet again, ladies and gentlemen. That is right, we're earning Ancient Souls. So, the next breakpoint is 1.2 million Ancient Souls. We are now on a total of 888,000 Ancient Souls, which is very nice indeed. So look, I'm pretty keen. Uh, to obviously transcend again and get to that 80%, uh, you know, transcendent power mark. I mean, I'm not too sure how long it's really going to take. I have a feeling if we keep on grinding the way we're grinding now, we should really have no problems with getting to that point in the game, if that makes sense. We just have to try and wait it out and grind it out. So either way, Million Year Old Shadow is level 1 million. Damn, that is actually quite a long wait there, everyone. Level 1 million for Million Year Old Shadow. I guess the name really does make sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, gonna quickly grab the Gilded Statuses here as well. Chuck them into Madzy straight away. Fantastic stuff. So I'm just quickly having a look now to make sure everything's okay, Ancient Soul-wise and Outsider-wise. All in all, I mean, I got told not to really level up Pony Boy anymore, but at this point, I don't really care. The more and more I inch closer to the end where I get my 100% Transcendent Power, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Pretty much my goal is to get to 100% Transcendent Power, guys, and pretty much wrap up the series there. Uh, Clicker Heroes 2 will be out before you know it, and then I'll be back here on the Clicker Heroes series, of course. I do know that a majority of you guys really do like my Clicker Heroes series, and that's the main reason why you watch me. But I do have to say, everyone, and I'm pretty much begging you here, be sure to check out my other content as well. Don't be scared, bro. You never know what you're going to like. If you just like my Clicker Heroes content, that is fair enough. But if you want to help me grow and you want to see more content like this on the channel, of course, I recommend you check out my other videos. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't either, okay? It all really does help. I mean, I can't stress that enough, especially in a time where YouTube's really glitching out lately. I mean, it's just a disaster. But either way... I digress. Um, we'll quickly have a look at the rubies here as well. We've got 15, I, I guess 15 rubies we'll go for here instead of 14, ideally. Seven rubies there. So that's pump, pretty much bumped us up to 25 rubies in total at least with that four plus ruby quest at the bottom there. That's good at least. Makes me pretty happy. Achievement wise, we're really, what, 91% deep. Achievements aren't really moving anytime soon. I'll be actually pretty shocked if I manage to unlock an achievement now at this point in the game. I mean, we can quickly inspect our achievements, I guess. What have we got here? The Big Cheese, no. Disciple of Solomon, no. 70% on that one. Acquisitions, nope. And Collector Collector, nope. Entirely too many skills, maybe we could get that, 81%. Wow, really? Nope. 1,005 minute quests, no, definitely not. Funeral Director. Ooh, bury 200 mercenaries. Look, I believe that Funeral Director will be the next achievement that we actually unlock in the game, guys. And that is pretty much it, I suspect. I can't imagine me going any further than Funeral Director, and I'm sure you all understand why. I mean, the other achievements would take so long to unlock. It's not really worth the investment anyway. There's no real bonuses or anything special you get out of completing achievements on Route 2. It's more just for bragging rights to your friends. You know what I mean, guys? Speaking of which, if you want to brag about what level you're on, on Click Heroes, head over to my Discord as well. The link is in the description below, as always, ladies and gentlemen. All right, don't be scared. Pop by there as well, okay? Can't stress it enough, bro. I love speaking to my fans, and so, you know, don't be shy to leave a comment. I will reply. It's just sometimes I'm too busy with real-life stuff. you got to remember I have a... Uh, 8.30 to 5 job, so, you know, I, I do have real life as well. <laughs> as much as I'd love to sit back and play games, I'm not at that point in my life yet. Ideally, one day we'll get there. I've been grinding since 2012, so maybe the dream will come alive this year. Maybe we'll come alive next year. Maybe we'll come alive never. I guess any time will really tell. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> look, I've got 18 auto clickers sitting there doing nothing right now, but you got to remember, Nogrenit is active right now as well, giving me that big gold boost. Where is he? Where's good old Nog? There he is. Nog. Lovely. Give me a massive percent in gold boost, by the way. Or is it DPS? No, it is DPS. Sorry. <laughs> what am I saying? Gold. It's DPS in Route 2. Funny enough. It's pretty crazy. 
I mean, I'm so used to the gold boost, but no, actually, theoretically, it is the DPS boost, so... Yeah, pretty interesting, man, how life is. Things change, obviously, on Clicker Heroes. I'm just checking this out here, hang on. Auto-clickers can be used, yeah, that's fine, who cares about that. As long as the, the auto-clickers are idle, we get that massive damage boost. I used to think that Nogronet boosted gold, but I think that's only on the original Clicker Heroes. Let me just have a look here. Yeah, here we go. In patch 1.0 E10, Nogrenit's bonus increases exponentially with every unassigned auto clicker and now provides a boost in DPS instead of gold. So there you go, everyone. That's how, that shows my age on clicker heroes, how long I've been playing for, for God's sake. I used to think, like, I was around when this did gold instead of uh, DPS. So there you have it. Amazing how time flies. It's not even Route 2. That's in the actual official clicker heroes as well. Bloody hell, it's been a while since I played the original clicker heroes. I wonder how everyone's going on there, by the way. If anyone plays the original Clicker Heroes, let me know in the comments below, alright? Either way, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all did enjoy. I will catch you all tomorrow for the next part of my Route 2 series. See you around, everyone. Catch you later.